Good morning. I'm Pastor Tamara. Welcome to our morning devotion. We've been talking about the armor of God. When we put on the full armor of God, we are able to stand against the plans that the devil may have for our life. Because as Christians, we want to align ourselves with what God's plans are for our life, we put on this full armor of God. Today we're talking about the breastplate of righteousness. Galatians 2, 21 to Galatians 3, 3 says, I do not set aside the grace of God, for if righteousness comes through the law, then Christ died for nothing. You foolish Galatians, who has hypnotized you before whose eyes Jesus Christ was visit vividly portrayed as crucified? I only want to learn this from you. Did you receive the Spirit by the works of the law or by hearing with faith? Are you so foolish? After being with the Spirit, how are you now going to be made complete by the flesh? Our righteousness does not come through the law. It does not come through what we do that is right or wrong. Our righteousness comes simply through the fact that Jesus Christ died on the cross for you and for me. It is in accepting that free gift of righteousness, confessing our sins and boldly coming before Jesus Christ, that we are confident that we also have that righteousness that Jesus Christ died for on the cross. He was the only one who was able to go perfectly to the cross and to pay the price for our sins to become righteousness. We join him in that. We join him and we can lay claim to that righteousness. When we accept that we are righteous in Jesus Christ and what he did on the cross, we can put that on and we can wear that proudly. And we can wear that in a way that the devil, when he comes at us and says untrue things to us about who we are in Christ, that we are not worthy, that we're not worth it, that we screwed up, that nobody would ever want you, God would never want you, what you've done is too wrong, too bad. God couldn't possibly love someone like you. That's a bunch of trash. And that's the devil talking to your heart, and it's not true. God loves you, and he sees you as worthy, as perfect, as beautiful, because that is how he sees his son. When we put on the breastplate of righteousness, God sees us in the same way that he sees his son. And when he sees his son, he sees him as most beloved, worthy, beautiful. That's how he sees you. Putting on the breastplate of righteousness every day for us is simply accepting that Jesus Christ gave us this beautiful gift. It is also that act of sanctification. And sanctification is simply making those decisions to do those things each day that bring us closer to God. It isn't basing, basing our faith on works. Works will never get you to righteousness. Works will never get you to heaven. Truly spending time with him in his word and praying with him builds a relationship with him. It's a place where you start to see that what the Bible says about you is true. I encourage you to spend time in your word. Get to know God. Get to have a real life-giving experience of knowing him and knowing that his righteousness, your righteousness, was bought at a great price. Thank you for joining us today. So much more I could say about this. I have so much on my heart about it. Maybe in the future I will get to. But for now, know that you are very loved. You are very seen by a God who sees you as he sees his son. I pray that you have a wonderful day today. God bless you.